Greetings, fellow captains. In our previous episodes, we told you how to fight in World of Warships. In this episode, we'll talk about how to prepare for battle, including how to fine-tune your ship to better suit your playing style and improve its combat qualities. In other words, we'll talk about the port and its importance in the game, and also give you some tips and tricks. you can access loads of useful information on any ship in the game. On the right, you can see a ship's parameters panel. Here, not only can you learn about a ship's speed characteristics and combat qualities, but also explore its modules. To examine a ship's module in detail, click the left mouse button on the camera icon near the module. A naval ship is like a crowded city with beautiful and sinister architecture. In the heat of battle, you probably won't have time to admire it, but when you're in the port, you can explore all the little details. Click the right mouse button to go back to normal mode. In World of Warships, you can thoroughly explore even those ships you haven't yet had time to research or purchase. Take your time and pour over the top models in the tech tree you're striving after, the 10 tier ships. Just open the tech tree and select the ship you're interested in. It goes without saying that the main function of the port is to enhance your ship's combat qualities, survivability and armament. This is the place to modernise your ship. In World of Warships, it is important to properly adjust your ship according to its type and your playing style. There are several ways to do that. First of all, on the module screen, you can research modules in exchange for experience or free experience, purchase modules for game currency, or mount new modules with improved characteristics. Click the left mouse button on the module to see and evaluate the characteristics that will change after you mount this module. Sometimes modules need to be mounted in a certain order. For example, you can't mount bigger calibre guns without renovating the fire control system. On the other hand, if you have accumulated enough experience, you can research all intermediate modules by clicking the last module in the sequence. Another way to enhance your ship's characteristic is to mount upgrades. Slots for upgrades are placed directly below the modules. The number of available slots depends on the ship's type and tier. Each slot has a defined set of upgrades, of which only one upgrade can be mounted in a slot. When selecting upgrades, you should take into consideration both the strengths and weaknesses of your ship, as well as your playing style. For example, if you prefer long-range combat, you should consider upgrading the accuracy and rate of fire of your guns, while short-range combat calls for upgrading your ship's survivability. You can demount upgrades in exchange for game currency, or remove them permanently for free. Click the right mouse button on the upgrade and choose one of the two options. All demounted upgrades can be found in the depot. You can mount them on any other ship anytime you like. In World of Warships, the commander's skills directly influence the ship's combat capability. Click the commander's image on the ship parameters panel to go to the commander skill screen. The experience you earn in the game can be used both for researching modules and mastering commander skills. 
The higher commander's progress level, the more experience you need to master additional commander skills. Skills of higher levels require mastery of at least one skill of the previous level and cost a larger number of points. All skills can be divided into specialized and general skills. Again, when choosing which commander skills to master, you should consider the ship's type and your playing style. If you change your mind later, you can always reset used skill points and redistribute them in exchange for game currency. When selling the ship, you can either send the commander to the reserve or dismiss the commander. At the same time, you will have to decide whether to demount or sell mounted upgrades. You can assign a commander from the reserve to any ship of their nation, but the effect to the commander's skills will be reduced. This doesn't apply to premium ships of the same type. To maintain the effect of skills on the same level, you can retrain the commander for free or in exchange for game currency. By choosing the right upgrades and the commander's skills, you can neutralize the weaknesses of the ship's type or enhance its strength. We'll talk more about ship types in the next episodes.